Back to this breaking news out of Texas now. Reports of a dam south of Dallas right now that is in danger of collapse. With me now, the Governor Greg Abbott from Texas. And sir, good morning to you. Your state has just been really dealt a tough hand on behalf of Mother Nature. What do you know about this dam right now? What should we understand, Governor? Uh, well, Bill, this is just the latest event we've been dealing with. I have declared disasters in 46 counties across the state, ranging from the Red River all the way down to the Rio Grande. And of course, you saw Houston, Texas yesterday. Uh, with this dam up in Mansfield, uh, right now we have uh, water that is uh, breaching uh, the edge of it, uh, that is flowing over of it. Uh, we have a team that is monitoring it constantly. Uh, we will be learning more about it here momentarily. Uh, we, so we will stay on top of this. Uh, the main information I could convey to you right now uh, and to everyone listening to this, and that is please stay out of harm's way. We've seen the effect of uh, the power of water as it flows downstream and uh, because of the possibility uh, of water flowing uh, downstream of this dam, it's essential that anyone near that area stay out of its way. The only thing I can add to you right now, Bill, and that is that around this region, by the way, I happen to have grown up as a kid around this region, so I know it fairly well, uh, most of it is agricultural-based land. And so there are not that many homes, although there are some homes uh, in that area uh, that I think have been evacuated by now. Uh, but there, there is less potential for the loss of life in this particular area than there has been in some of the other regions across the state of Texas. Yeah. Governor, how many people are listed as missing at the moment in your state? And do you have an update on the family that was inside that home that was swept down the river um, colliding into a bridge? Believe it or not, Bill, the, that family that was going down that river uh, is the family of one of my top advisors in the governor's office here in the state of Texas. Wow. And so we have stayed on top of this very closely. It shows how personal this is to all of us. Uh, we all have some family member or friend who's been affected uh, by these floods. And so we are staying on top of it. And uh, in this effort, uh, the McCombs family, as well as so many others, uh, we remain vigilant. Uh, and ensuring that we are involved in the search and rescue process, uh, looking to try to save every single person who is missing. Well, sympathies, Governor, on that front and for that family, certainly. And, and again, how many missing at the moment in Texas? What's the number at now, sir? The, sure. Bill, it's very important to understand that those numbers fluctuate, and, and the numbers uh, of, the, of the people who are listed as missing. It's important to understand that some of these people are missing uh, for reasons completely unrelated to the flood. And as a result, mm -hmm. we're not giving out any hard figures because we cannot confirm that uh, the flood of the storms uh, may be the reason why someone may be missing. Now, you describe a relentless wall of water that mowed down huge trees like they were grass. And there could be even more rain in the forecast this week. Governor, quickly, I want to move to this, um, to another story while I have you on immigration. I know you agree with what the Fifth Circuit did yesterday on the executive order on immigration for millions of illegals here, but ultimately you have five weeks left in the Supreme Court uh, schedule for the moment. Ultimately, how is this decided and in what terms? Well, what the Obama administration is seeking to do is say uh, that the, the legal proceedings should be allowed to take place while at the same time uh, uh, Barack Obama's uh, executive order should be allowed to go into place. And so right now we're not even fighting in the court system about the legal validity of the order. We're just fighting in the court system about whether or not uh, the executive order goes into effect while we're legally fighting about that order. And I've got to tell you, it would be highly unusual for the United States Supreme Court uh, to grant the Obama administration's request and allow this executive order to go into place while we are still litigating it. Hence, my prediction to you is that the Supreme Court will reject uh, the Obama administration's appeal to the Supreme Court. We will go back to the lower court and fully litigate this case. And so the big term effect of this is that the likelihood of this order going into effect and being applied during the Obama administration is very minuscule. Wow, just, just to put a fine point out, that is at least another year before it's decided then, correct? That's what you're saying. It, exactly. So the, 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 the Obama administration's next step is to appeal to the United States Supreme Court. It's highly likely the Supreme Court will reject that initial appeal, which is just for a stay. And that means we go back to the trial court, 
to fully litigate the matter, and doing that will take another year, okay. and that will be at the end of the Obama administration's term. Well, Governor, thank you for your time on, on both those topics. Again, our hearts go out to you. We're thinking about you and everybody in Texas throughout the week here and in your neighboring state of Oklahoma as well. Greg Abbott, the governor there in Austin. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Well, on the politics